Hey, how's it going guys? So recently I posted one of my old Udemy FPS rigging and animation tutorial series here on YouTube. And since then I've received quite a few questions about how to export and use these animations in a game engine. So I thought I would create a few quick videos explaining my export process and yeah, just showing how it's done in practice. So yeah, let's just get into it. So here I have the, um, the reload animation. It looks like this. So first off, we want to make sure that the animations start at the first frame. And this is actually a mistake I made in the past videos where I made it start on frame zero, but ideally it should start at the first frame. So in order to fix that, we can select the arms rig. And then here we have all the keyframes. So we can select all of them by pressing A. And then we can move them one frame by pressing G, X plus one. And that's going to move them into the correct position. And we want to do the same for the gun animation as well. So it stays synced with the arms. So let's select the gun rig and do the same thing. And there we go. And the next thing we want to do is we want to set the end frames to match the end of the animation. So we can check here to see where it ends. So the last keyframe here is on 57 and the last keyframe on the gun is on 71. So let's set this to 71 and then we can play it to see if it looks proper. Yep, looks about right. And now to export this, we're going to start with exporting the arms. So we're actually going to um, export these separately. So the gun animations are going to be separate from the arms. So let's start by selecting the arm mesh by right clicking and then shift right clicking the arm rig like this. And then in order to export, we go to file, export FBX. And I'm just going to make a new folder here on desktop, call it uh, exported, open that up. And now we need to modify some of these settings to properly export this. So let's start by limit this to selected objects. So we only export the stuff that we want to export, not the entire scene, right? And then we can select armature and mesh since these are the objects that we want to ex actually export. And then we can go down to geometry. These are all fine, by the way. And here we want to set the smoothing to edge since this is like a, a low poly style. You know, we want to keep that um, kind of flat shaded look, I guess you can call it. And then we can go down to armature. And this is very important. So we want to make sure that we only export the deformed bones. So this means that we won't be exporting the controller bones and any other bones that are used to like move the rig in, the, in Blender. So check that. And also we want to uncheck add leaf bones. And then we can again go down to bake animation. And here we want to uncheck NLA strips and all actions because we, we only want to export the selected action, which is the reload. And we also want to set simplify to zero um, because otherwise Blender is going to compress the animation and lower the quality to make it a smaller file size. Um, so basically the higher you set this value, the, the more simple the animation is going to be. And it's going to take away some of the details that we added, like the little shakes and stuff like that. So let's just keep that at zero. And now we're going to name it. So let's call it um, SKFP Arms. And this stands for uh, Skeletal Mesh. And the FP stands for First Person. All right, and then hit export. And there we go. And now we should have the files here in our exported folder. And there we go, skfp arms. So the next step is to export the gun and the gun animations. Before we do that, we wanna kind of clean the scene up a little bit. So we wanna add the gun to its own collection. And to do that, we can select the gun rig and the gun mesh. Uh, we need to make it selectable first by clicking here. And then we can select the gun mesh as well. And to add this to a new collection, we press M and then new collection. 
and we can just call this like gun just keep it simple right and there we go and just to be a bit fancy we can give this like a, a separate color just so we can tell which one is which all right and make sure to save that Control s and now we are going to make a new scene so we're not going to export from this scene we're going to make a new scene a new general scene and we can start by deleting the default objects pressing a x and delete and now we can actually link to the gun collection in in the other scene so we don't actually have to import it we can just link it so it will get all the data but it won't like increase the file size of this blender scene so do that by going to file link and then we need to find the file that we just saved so let's go here course files creating the reload animation and collection and here we see the collection that we just made it's called gun so let's link that and now we get this so it's just the gun in here and we can't really do much with it by default it's just like this static locked object so to make it editable we need to go here and right click on the linked file go to id data and then choose make library override hierarchy and this is going to make it editable so now we can actually select it and, and move it around and all that and the cool thing about linking is that we can actually modify the animation of the gun in the main scene and it's going to automatically pass over to this scene which is really useful so you don't need to like re-import stuff and you you know keep track of what you've changed you can just make changes in the main file and then it's going to automatically get imported here as well all right so the next step is to open the animation uh sorry the action editor so to do that we can go to dope sheet and action editor and then let's select the gun rig just this part let's make this a little bit bigger and also to make this editable we need to click this little button right here so we can actually edit the animation and to center the gun because we when we export we don't want the gun to be in this position because right now it's like moving around the screen like this we don't want that we want it to stay centered in the middle here okay so go to the first frame and disable the root bone by clicking here so now it's only the magazine moving and the gun stays still and then we can go into edit mode sorry pose uh, mode and with the root selected we can center it by pressing alt g like this now it's all centered but it's still a bit offset so it's not actually centered in the middle so to fix that we can go back into object mode and going to the transform options and actually centering the y-axis and now it's centered all right perfect and we also need to make sure that the the scene is set to 30 frames per second which is the, the frame rate that we made the animation in so to do that go to uh, output properties and set the frame rate to 30 like this now we can play it and we can see that only the magazine is animated which is perfect and just like we did before we need to set the end frame rate to match the animation which is 71 so let's do that and just like we did before we can actually use the same export settings for this one as well so select the rig and the mesh and go to file export fbx and we can place it in the same folder as before so go to exported and then use the same settings that we used before so selected objects armature mesh geometry edge uh, only deformed bones no leaf bones uncheck these set simplify to zero and we can call this one sk gun just to keep it simple and then export all right and that's it for the export process now you should have two files here one is called skfp arms and the other one is sk gun all right that's it for the exporting process in the next video we will import everything to unreal engine and do some quick testing and make sure that it works and that it plays properly 
All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.